Hey there, YouTube. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me here on the very last day of Sketchbook Habit. It is a true pleasure to have you here today. Since this is the last day, I thought it'd be fun to go to the very beginning of how this all kind of started, and that was with Sketchbook Video Challenge on my old channel, Juicy Ink. And the first thing that I drew was Jasmine. So today's video is a draw me again, a revisit to 2016. So the first piece was done in Copic, so it was a little bit of a challenge to kind of retranslate this into watercolors. Uh, Copic markers are just so vibrant. Well, they're not light fast and they kind of, you know, are so bright and vivid like highlighters. So I did my best today and uh, yeah. Today I won't be going into detail about the artwork, but instead I will be answering some questions that you have submitted in yesterday's video. Um, I want to shout out Mr. Honeyball for going through the comments in yesterday's video and compiling me a list. Um, I apologize if I don't get to your question in this video today. I do want to say that, wow, I took a peek at some of the questions and they were so solid, like super, super duper. Thank you for leaving such great, thoughtful questions. If I don't answer it today, I'll do my best to either answer it in a video in the future. Oh yeah. So Honeyball omitted any questions that could be answered in a future video so that way I can treat your question with a lot of care and show you in video format because that would be easier for me. Let's start with the first question from B. Nelly Ram and that is what was the best worst thing about trying this challenge? Also what is something that you learned about your painting habits technique and process? I think the best thing about trying this challenge, other than proving to myself that I was able to do it and made it to the very end, was really just communicating with everyone in the comments. Like I really thoroughly enjoyed seeing like repeat commenters and just really engaging with you and getting excited about artwork with you. That was um, made me giddy the next day. I'm like, oh, let's try that. So I want to say thank you for being a part of that and making it enjoyable for me. The worst thing, um, my schedule did get thrown off. Um, I think my sleeping schedule at the moment is that I go to bed at midnight and then I wake up at like eight and then um, it's just a little bit later than I like. Um, my workout schedule is thrown off. So I'm very ecstatic that once I go back to a more manageable schedule next week that I get to work out more and take care of my body like it does impact my workflow a lot like I am more on top of my art production I am much faster I start the work day earlier and I finish at a reasonable time the second part of your question what did I learn about my painting process technique and habits I think this connects with the first part of your question was that um if I don't start the work day early and on the dot with like my best energy, um, the day does drag on a little too long. So that really did tell me that it is important to protect my routines that way I can work my best. So yeah. Next questions. This is from Bentacles K. Who is your favorite Sailor Scout? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, it's probably not the inner or outer senshis. I actually really do enjoy the Sailor Scout stars. I actually like the villains. The villains are so cool. <laughs> I need to show the villains more love. Um, second part of your question, do you prefer granulating, non-granulating colors more or standing or non-standing or transparent opaque? Oh man, um, I love them all. Like they all have their pros and cons and I'm that type of painter that will maximize any payment that you give me and like I don't think I could ever live without one or the other. Oh, if I could only choose one of each, it would probably be granulating, staining, and transparent. The next question is from Snow Mouse, and they ask, what was your favorite new supply that you tried out over the course of this challenge? Like paint, sketchbooks, brushes, not just in terms of quality of supply, but how much you enjoyed it. Oh, I actually don't really remember what I tried. Like, I think this challenge was six weeks and things are kind of blurry. Of course, off the top of my mind, I remember the Denise Soden palette and that palette is really solid. Like I know it's not, it's a bit biased of me to say it because Denise is my friend, but if anyone's ever in the market for a high-end palette, oh my gosh, yeah, pick that up. It's so easy. The colors are super saturated. They are easy to pick up and they behave beautifully on the paper. I 
really do kick myself for not buying it sooner and I am tempted to buy more tubes to make a new palette so oh yeah two new favorites the silver brush the atelier atelier there we go a uh, quill brush the handsome black one. Oof. okay I really like that brush like I'm very very thankful I finally gave that one a shot along with the uni field two milliliter I have some new favorites yay the next question is from Christine and she asks, what else would I have pursued if not art? Uh, so art is like my everything. I knew I wanted art to be a prominent aspect of my life. Like I wanted to just like really commit to it since like high school. Like of course, like growing up, art was always there for me, but seriously thinking like I can have this in my life was in high school. Um, Occasionally, I would tease myself saying if I didn't pursue art or any kind of creative field like video editing, it would probably be event planning because I really do enjoy coordinating. I really enjoy like, I guess that's still creative. This next question is from Crunchy Cupcakes. I must ask, what kind of cupcake? Are you like coconut? Are you like a crunchy uh, Butterfinger cupcake? <laughs> Any hizzles. Uh, would you recommend this challenge for other artists to take on? Maybe not the daily videos, but the sketchbook work. Absolutely the sketchbook work. I, I really do encourage, um, consistency within, um, art production. Um, I wouldn't recommend daily videos unless you really adore video creation. So editing videos throughout this challenge, it would start off at six in the beginning, if I was really lucky, it would be three hours, but if it was an art supply review, oh, it would be way more than six. But that's like hustle mode editing, like any kind of videos outside of this challenge, it would be 12 hours. It just really does depend of how much information goes into it. But yeah, if you find yourself having a spare 20 minutes each day, please do spend that time in your sketchbook. It is so well spent. It's really gratifying it's so rewarding time after time doing like a 30-day challenge like this and completing it to the very end it's like yay it's like so victory dance i want you to have that feeling too the next question is from molly m and she asks what did you try style techniques materials anything during this challenge that you're excited to do use more of actually this ties in with today's video so um i knew i was gonna do this halfway through the challenge was revisit day one of sketchbook video challenge so i reached out to my really good friend susan to pose it out for me because she has like a really tight core and great like deltoids so i knew she would be perfect in doing like a jasmine where she's more exposed yay so i had a true treat just studying form and muscles and like simplifying those shapes and all oh, that's what I'm really excited to do more of after the sketchbook challenge is over. Really improving my figure work. And I find that I don't enjoy recording that kind of footage. Like, it's either too boring, repetitive, because it's just studying. And I f uh, it's not entertaining for my viewers. The next question is from Donna, and she asks, I would like to know what sorcery it is that your mechanical pencil does not smudge and muddy up your paintings. So I don't use anything harder than a 2B when it comes to watercolor that could smudge. And I draw, draw, uh, draw. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> I draw really light. So uh, 2H pencils are great. Any H pencil, uh, just draw with light lines. Hope that helps. I think this is a typo. Um, I think it's Diana, not Diania. Because <laughs> um, I, I see you comments a lot. Uh, you're one of my sweet pea patrons, I think. Uh, Tori, my question is, what do you think about the advice that you should draw only things that bring you joy versus, of course, focusing on your weakness? Um, I think it's important to take intentions uh, first. Like, is this a hobby or is this something that you want to make a career out of? And stick to that like don't feel pressured to make you know master pieces if all you really want to do is just have it to be an enjoyable hobby that you do on the weekend on the flip side if this is something that you want to do for work the focus should be more of what kind of work do you want to be hired for therefore tailor your artwork to showcase that and really hone in your skill sets to really master that niche we only have so much time, so we should be mindful of how we spend it, and we should make sure that 
what we do work towards what we want. So in a way, my answer kind of does dabble in what brings you joy. Just don't draw something that makes you miserable. Like I, I don't want people to fall out of love with arts because they feel pressured to do something that doesn't drive with them. Ah, uh, dear friends, I think that's all I have time for. Oh, this was so much fun. Let's do this again um, in the future. Um, I think I remember seeing another comment uh, that wasn't in my list about if I was interested in doing this challenge again, maybe in a year or another four years. Maybe I probably will because knowing me, I just love a good marathon. Alrighty, dear friends, I need to peel on out, go recuperate, comment down below some fun ways I should recharge. I would love to read your input so I can be like, I'm recharging for you and I'm so excited to see you next week with a new schedule. We are having Mondays, Wednesdays here on YouTube and we're going to do Fridays on Twitch. Ooh, wish me luck on setting that up. Thank you so incredibly much for being a part of this challenge. I am so happy that I did this with you. Thank you for making my day and for cheering me on. I'm so happy we did this. Okay, okay. I'll see you next week, okay? Have a wonderful weekend. Sending many great vibes your way and keep on drawing, okay? Bye.